back here, five and six. Good to see you again. It's your second video. This one is on football, and we're going to do some work on your first touch, and then we're going to look at some turns. So, slightly more advanced stuff. Our first practice drill for the touch, your first touch. And you're going to find this one easy, but it's going to get harder as we go along. So, you can try 10 goes on each foot here, and all we're going to do is sit in this position. Then, I'm going to hold the ball out nice and straight. All I'm going to do is have my legs straight and I'm going to kick. You can see that when I kick, my toes pointing towards the camera, all right, and my legs going straight. We're doing this because this is what it's going to look like when you do your first touch when you're standing up. So I have 10 goes on your right and 10 on your left. Progress that now and we're doing exactly the same. So 10 on the right and 10 on the left. We want to get good with our first touch with both feet. So I'm just going to kick the ball out of the hands and then catch. Kick the ball out of the hands and catch. Still keeping that leg straight and pointing the toes all the way to the camera. Good luck with that one. Difficult. We're standing up now. We're remembering that position of keeping our foot straight and then flicking at the end to get the ball up in the air. We're going to try just with our right foot at the moment or your strongest foot. So I'm going to drop the ball, kick and then catch. Drop the ball, kick and then catch. I want 20 goes on this side. If I'm feeling confident and free extension, I can then go have a go on my left hand side. Challenge time. Me personally, when I'm coaching footballers, I always think that the first touch is the most important skill. So it's really important that you're able to get this skill right. The more practice you do, the better you become. All right, so what we're gonna do now, challenge time, you're gonna keep the foot up and then catch it. So I did three in a row there. If the ball had dropped down, then that wouldn't have counted. You must kick them up and then catch the ball. Uh, make sure you put your top scores on teams. Thinking, when will we use keep up is in the game? Well, we won't, but it's gonna help us loads with our first touch. I'm gonna show you a drill now. All those good keep up is you were just doing, that's gonna help you when you do this practice. So I'm gonna turn around. I've got Phoebe to help me. She's gonna feed the ball in and say go. <coughs> I'm going to turn and control it and then pass it back. You can do this practice of three or four minutes. The more practice you do, the better you'll get. All right, so Phoebe, let's go. Go. Okay, control it and pass it back. Let's try and get them in the air. Go. Good, and then I take a touch and then I pass it back. This time I'm going to turn to my left, so I practice with the, with the other leg. Go. Good, take a touch and then a pass. All right, have a go at that. Let me know how you get on. In the second part of the video, we're going to look at some turns. Now, we can use these turns to change direction or to confuse the defender to get past them. The first one I'm going to show you is called a Cruyff turn. All right, so this helps to change direction really quickly. I'm going to place my non-kicking foot by the side of the ball. Then I'm going to turn so my instep touches the ball. And then I'm going to turn around my body is then in the path of where the ball's going to go. I've got to put two cones out so it's nice and easy. Remember to keep the ball really close to your body at all times. Dribble out to the cone, then quick turn, and then come back. All right, that's one. You're going to have ten goes at that, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Remember, we're trying to do these as quickly as possible because that's going to confuse the defender. This one is a drag back. So when I get to the point where I want to change direction, I'm going to put the top bottom of my shoe on the ball, I'm going to drag the ball back and then I'm going to flick it with my instep so it goes onto the other side of my body. Show that one more time because it could get confusing. Drag the ball back, then flick it and then it's onto the other side of my body. I'm going to show you that quickly now, again with my two tin cans, again 10 goes. Dribble up, put on the ball, turn and then I change direction. That's one. Good luck, give it a go. The side row. Okay, again, I'm looking to confuse that defender and make them go in the wrong direction. So this one, I'm just going to roll the ball. Normally, my stronger foot, but if you get really good, you can use your other foot as well. Drag the ball across in front of my body to the other side of the body. All right, it's going to look like this. So we're going up to the cone. When I get past the cone, I'm going to drag the ball to the side, keep control of it, and then come back. Again, we'll have ten goes into practice, I put a defender here. It's not really a defender, it's just three tin cans spread out a little bit further apart. They make my defender. Now give yourself two minutes to get someone to time you, and I'm gonna keep trying the different turns that we've just practiced to change direction and get past these tin cans. 
All right, so it's a continuous practice. Keeps going. It looks like this. First one, I decide to do a quarter turn. Okay, change direction and go past them. Then I can either go back to that side and do it again, or I can come back to the start. This time, I'm going to do a roll, go past them, and then one more. I'll do my drag back, go past them. All right, keep practicing different ones, mix them all up to make it difficult and give yourself two minutes. Practice, and this is where we put it into a game. So we need a real defender. So there's Phoebe, say hello Phoebe. She's excited about doing this one. All right, uh, I put two tin cans out to the side so I could go in either direction. My objective, my goal is to try and knock those tin cans with the ball. But to do that, I've got to try and beat this defender. So you're gonna to need to use your mum and dad or a brother or sister. We start from the end here. I'm gonna say go, and then I'm gonna try and knock one of these tin cans with the ball. All right, Phoebe, you're gonna come out and try and get the ball from me. Ready, go. So I'm gonna roll out, I'm gonna use my roll, and then I'll hit the tin can, okay? So I'm gonna have, we'll do one more so everyone can see it and we can change it up, but we're gonna have another, another go, and you'll get 20 goes of this. That should be enough for you to get good practice and should tire out your parents or your brother or sister. Ready, Phoebe? Let's go. Right. Try again. I'll try one on the back and then knock the tin can over. Good defending, Phoebe. High five. She made it tough for me on that one. See how you get on. Let me know on teams if you can beat your parents or your brother or sister. Year five and six. Excellent job. Thank you very much for watching. Today we looked at the first touch, which I believe is the most important skill, so keep practicing that. Get loads of keepy uppies. If you've got a good video that you can share on Teams, please show uh, everyone in your year group. And then we looked at different turns which are going to help you beat the defender. I want to see you beating those, those parents and let me know how you did. All right, well done. Enjoy the other videos from the other teachers later on in the coming weeks. And thanks for watching.